Hosted by a cock and frog. Shaka talk. With my boy Eddie from round the block. Shaka talk. He likes to roll. I like to rock. Shaka talk. My name is Dr. Rhea. Some people call me fair. I've got something to say. Allow me just one prayer. Okay. Okay, uh, suffer from a mental block. Shaka <laughs> talk. Like, oh my god, what the fuck? Shaka <laughs> talk. <laughs> Just turn it up and sit right back. Shaka talk. Hi, my name is Winnie Patterson, and I'm an art teacher. So, Winnie, what's it like to be an art teacher? Um, it's very <laughs> fun, first of all. Um, I get to be a part of the children's creative process and help to um, kind of influence it. Um, it's definitely a lot of work, a lot of cleanup, but that's just, I guess, a small part of it. But, you know, it's as an artist to see children starting to get into the habit of sketching and noticing the world around them, it's very gratifying. What have you learned as an artist from this job? Um, I've learned patience. I've learned um, I've learned the importance of process work and um, not always focusing on the end product and the value of the process work, especially in watching the kids learning how to process their ideas the practice of getting more familiar with the tools. I've learned how to organize my ideas better. And I've also just learned about my personality through watching the children and their interactions with each other. What are you doing to promote the arts? Um, here at Kuhio Elementary, I'm um, working on the second annual arts festival. Last year, what I did is I con contacted um, people in the community and schools, neighboring schools, to have um, them come to our school and hold um, performances and poetry readings and um, have them display art here so that we can get the kids in the community excited about um, the creative aspects of school. So this year what I'm doing is I'm contacting people from downtown, um, artists and performers, to hold a festival in May uh, so that the kids can see art is not just something that they can take in school but something that they could possibly have a career in. Can you show us any examples of what the students are doing? Okay. Um, well, for the fourth and fifth graders, I'm really trying to focus on the importance of planning and um, how they can organize their ideas so that they know what they're going to be making. Because a lot of the times the kids come in and I'll give them something and it they're like stuck because they don't know what they want to make. So I allow them some time to plan out their ideas. So for right now we're doing sculpture and uh, ceramics. So the first part of the project is I have them draw their idea out. So I have them do a front side drawing and also a side view drawing just in case the um, their side of their 3D project is different from the front. So this one is the same but this one it's small but from the front this is a briefcase and from the side you know I have them think about what it would look like if they were to angle it. So for the first one I created this and you can see that it's very similar to the drawing and what I'm going to try to do is purchase the glaze so that their end product looks like their plan and then for this one it's like that. I also have them think about the dimensions so this one is supposed to be four inches wide and four inches tall it's a little shorter but you can see that he's trying to process the idea 
So that's just one example. But I really want them to focus on organizing their ideas and seeing the process through from beginning to end. Hi! <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> well, thank you for watching, staying up late to watch Shaka Talk. All right, if they're watching on YouTube, I guess that's whenever. Uh, I'm your hostess, DR Rhea. You can call me DR. And I have a special guest host today, my friend Eddie McMahon. Hello. Are you, <laughs> are you visiting? Eddie. Eddie? Eddie. Are you related to Edna oh. McMahon? She is slut. She's a but slut. Yes, my sister, she's a slut. She's a slut. I am here now. You have a different accent than she does. She's very good at English. Oh. You speak English? <laughs> well, thank you for being here today. We have a special guest today. Her name is Winnie Patterson. She's an artiste. And here she is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're an artiste. And how long have you been creating and creativing or whatever? Um, well, since I was a little kid, but I started actually making stuff and giving it away and selling it at 18. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. What medium do you do? Um, I do acrylics, oils, so drawing and painting, and I also do fiber art, so... What's that? <laughs> like uh, crocheting, knitting. Oh, you do the... Um, Craft fairs and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you made me a beanie. Yeah. I don't want a beanie. <laughs> so my hair didn't look so round in this damn hair. <laughs> okay. You look good. You look like a snooky. Oh, thanks. Snooky. Yeah. I'm slutty like your sister, too. Oh, beanie, beanie. Very skinny, very skinny. We can get married and I can get half of your benefits. But oi, oi, <laughs> oi. Wow. Okay. Okay. All my ideas. Of my so, ideas. where did you study? <laughs> <laughs> did you study? Oh, uh, yeah, I have been, like, studying art. Um, mm -hmm. I went to UH, uh -huh. um, art department. I got a BFA. Um, but my mom is an artist, so I've been doing art since I was young. Is she your inspiration, you think? Or yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did, yeah. Um, and you're black and ease? Yeah, oh, black okay. and Japanese. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I think we see some of that black in yaro, the black art. Yaro, black and yaro, black and yaro, black and yaro. Oh! Me, oh, here's some me, wait, where's your work? Here. What is that? Who's that? Uh, <laughs> that one, that one's actually just a made-up person. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. That happens to look like you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, oh, well, yes. Yeah, that okay. one's just made up. Does that have happen? But I think what happens is artists tend to paint things that look like themselves, because we all know ourselves so well. Oh. But the other okay. one is actually... This other one? This one is on me. The, <laughs> the one that looks identical. Uh, like who? <laughs> this one is me. Yeah. It looks like who? Me. Oh, I thought you said it. Okay. <laughs> is it, are there titles to these? Um, yeah. Do you remember them? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask, is it easy to remember? Like, no. how do you know what you're selling? I've spelling? changed the titles to my paintings like five times. And uh -huh. like each time I hang it up, it's a different title. And I think that's... <laughs> Bad etiquette as an artist, but mm -hmm. so what? So <laughs> what? Mine, so. And what's good etiquette as an artist? Well, I think you're supposed to remember the titles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean they don't matter? Um, well, that's a good question. Mm. Sometimes they do, because with the ones that I'm really um, doing intentionally, I think the titles matter because I can remember them. But with these ones, it's not that they weren't intentional paintings, but it changed while I was doing it. The like intention? the intention, yeah, oh. and the concept changed. So the titles changed. That's why it's hard to remember. There's like five or six different titles I gave it. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. So who um who inspires you? Do you have any uh, like professional like artists or just I guess or anybody? Um unprofessional artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is so sweet. I'm inspired by my kids, like the students. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're an art te teacher, yeah? Right. Uh, Kuhio, Kuhio Elementary. That's in Mo'ili Ili. Yes. Right on. So my students inspire me because they have such a fresh energy. And foul mouth. And foul mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I call that fresh energy. <laughs> <laughs> right on. And um, what do you t how, how do you teach kids? Like, do you tell them what to do? or? Um, what I try to do, I break it up by... Um, 
grade level. So I teach kindergarten through fifth grade. And so with the kindergarten, first grade, it's more about having them build their uh, fine motor skills. So mm -hmm. it's more like learning how to cut paper or how to hold the pencil or paintbrush in a different way. But for the older kids, I try to structure it where they're actually using art as a tool for life planning. What do you mean? So like I'll have them break up their art pieces so that they actually plan out what they're doing and I apply those skills to real life situations. Like <laughs> for instance, if you're going to make food, you have to write out your recipe or write out your ingredients. Uh -huh. In the same way when you're making an art piece, you have to list out what you need, think about it, draw it out, sketch it, then produce. So, oh, so it's kind of, you have a vision in mind or does it? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of, like I just want them to be, I don't want them to just see art as being fun, but actually mm -hmm. practical to life. Oh. I don't know if they're really getting it at age 10, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm hoping, because I can see the progress, mm. so. That's cute. Do you, because I went to school right up the street at one of the high schools. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> who's your art teacher? Miss Uehara. Uehara. Oh, I remember her name. Did you know Miss Kanagawa? I don't know mm. if she was a lifestyle. Let me miss Kanagawa. I think there's a. Um, I'm Miss Did she dead? Oh, I'm Miss <laughs> yeah. um, So, but uh, Miss Kanagawa, she wouldn't paint in front of her students because she didn't want to like have Influence any kind. Of, yeah. Yeah. Do you draw? Or sometimes. Do sometimes, but, but I always? notice that when I do that, they just copy what I'm doing. Oh really? Mm. So I. Do you hit them? <laughs> oh, no. oh, the hitting stops here. There's a show on Tuesday nights called. American Safe Pass, I think. Right. And it's all about not hitting kids in schools. Can they hit kids at your school? No, oh. I thought that was... In the South, this lady was telling oh, me she has a show on a little... Yeah. And she's saying that, yeah, in the South, it's okay to hit the kids. There's paddles and everything. In I Korea, it's okay, too. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. But that's the South. South. Okay. Yeah. That's Korea. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> South Korea? I love Korea. Um, <laughs> how long have you been teaching? Um, well, at Kuhio, I've been there for three years, uh -huh. but I've been working with kids for about 12 years or so. Oh, really? Yeah. I do summer programs. I do after-school programs. Do you see your other, your former students sometimes? Sometimes, <laughs> like Foodland. They're like, oh, oh really? I'm sweaty. I'm like, hi. Right on. <laughs> yeah. do, do, are any of them still being artsy-fartsy? or? Do um, you know? I don't know, but I hope. Oh, really? Have yeah. you seen them on Crime Stoppers or anything like that? <laughs> Yes, I had the draw no. disturbing thing. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're saying they do disturbing things. Like, what? Well, I think, okay, disturbing to m probably most other people. Mm -hmm. But, like, normal people. Normal people. Normal people. But it's normal people. Arousing to you. <laughs> Yeah. Like a what? <laughs> okay, like a so, what? like, for instance, there was a child who drew, um, like, a head blowing up. Uh -huh. oh. And, uh, you know, a lot of them do, like, um, war themed art uh -huh. where it's like guns and knives. Not, not seized. What do you do? <laughs> oh, KKK, get me grab or die, my power. I was to say that, sorry. Oh. I don't know what I would do if a child said that. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's uh, uh, what I would do. So do you try to pers like influence their decisions and what they do? Like say, oh, maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, I don't, but I see the other teachers doing that. And I, I'm sure they have reason for that. But mm -hmm. in my class, I really try to make it as open as possible so that they don't feel discouraged in doing art. Because I feel like a lot of the times, um, if it doesn't look like it, they feel like they've failed in mm -hmm. some sense. But if we all know art, not everything looks like the way it's supposed to look. Mm. So. Well, let's see some of your work. Let's oh, speaking of things that aren't supposed yeah. to look like. <laughs> let's see what these things look like. <laughs> you? Thanks. <laughs> okay. What's that? Uh, uh, oh, uh, OK. Uh, uh, he uh. like a fish. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so this is from a, a series I did called okay. um, Nonsense and Laughter. And it was kind of like a self-portrait series. And as you can see, none of them really look like me. <laughs> but this is um, my way of dealing with myself and turning into who I am now. Really? These are the different transitions of being and of understanding and so my personality. You're kind of working out your oh, psychology. What is that yeah. one? I think this are one. You there's Every woman? Uh, no, actually it's three women. And uh -huh. in my life, you know, there's my mother, my sister, and myself. So oh. it's kind of like the interplay of how we are together. Oh. Who's who in that picture? Um, my mom is 
the middle one. I'm off to the side in the blue and rain. The Hori Trinati. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's kind of like the way we are. Who's that? Uh, this is from another series. It's only two paintings. Okay. Um, it's kind of... Was that an On King? This one was an On King oh, okay. and also in Super Citizen. Oh, uh -huh. um, the Clown. Yeah, it's a clown. Mm -hmm. And it's called uh, Becoming Oneself. Oh. Okay. And so, yeah. And oh. that's... Another, another one. Do you another tickle clown. the ivory? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, is that the end of this first slideshow? I don't know. Uh, no, I think there's, there's a couple more. more. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so then this is another series that I was working on. I got really inspired by birds and oh. transformation and the ideas of wanting to fly away from a situation. Oh, wow. Oh. And then these are the ones <coughs> that are in the back. Oh, this okay. is more of like a free... This is actually based on sex, so... <laughs> on sex? Yeah, and like... Mm. Um, are those spooge splotches? No. <laughs> okay, I was like, you can't like come <laughs> in a black lady's hair. <laughs> that is why she could not tell okay. us the title. Okay. Thanks for that <laughs> <slideshow>. <laughs> yeah, Dirty title. Back well, to the studio, please. <laughs> okay, not more completely. Pizza. I guess it's not really sex, but more like sexuality and becoming more um, free and open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ever say, you can smell my flowers. How's it going? Ollie says it. Want to smell my flower? I love it. It's all my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, I guess in your own art or your um, in your students, does it can just can it just be pretty or technically interesting, or does it have to say something or? It depends on the message? assignment, okay. but um, I try to just have them complete their pieces, mm -hmm. and I don't focus on pretty. I don't really focus too much on concept just yet because they're so young mm -hmm. but um i just want them to complete it and to understand what a complete piece of work is to them and to just how do you know when it's done well okay so for done? instance done oh i done wow eddie what's that I done it's kuka it's kuka it's kuka. <laughs> kuka flower is that kuka. is that done miss patterson just this show i just i saw kuka flower look like a kuka well okay, okay. Kuka. Like for the little kids, if they were to show me that, I would ask them, where is the background? Oh, oh right. it, it's a very bright. It's a very bright, oh, very day. bright. Like, very okay, so blinding the, bright. the only rule that I have for the children <laughs> is that I don't want any white paper showing. Oh, because right. I always oh. feel like they can draw something mm -hmm. and say, oh, I'm done. Oh. But it's like, no, but you can do a little bit more. You can add a, a background. An environment or something. Yeah, to give it a story. Because okay. if it's just a flower in, on a paper, that's beautiful. <laughs> but at the same time, there can be a little bit more information. Fine. Oh, I guess I'm Fine. Not done Fine. Fine. <laughs> yes, add more. Draw some more. Add more. Okay. No white spaces. What are you trying to do with your art? Do you want to become rich and famous or change the world or what's yeah. going on in Everything your head? Everything all above. Oh, really? <laughs> right on. Well, oh. um, yeah. And <laughs> That's it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Is it easy to sell your art? Like if you want to. Mm. And Is it easy to sell? Like how do you, how do you decide like I'll put a price on something? Okay. That's really oh. hard to do. Uh -huh. And, um. I struggle with that. So I usually have to have like a kind of a conference of sorts with different people to ask them what they think would be a good price. Who do you ask? <laughs> I ask my sister. I mm. ask my friends who are other artists. Mm. My mom mm -hmm. who's an artist. And I mm -hmm. kind of come to a general consensus of what a reasonable price would be. Okay. The only thing that's kind of difficult though is when you're selling in a store, mm -hmm. you have to know that the store or the place, the gallery, will tack on their own fee, which uh, is reasonable, of yeah. course, but something that maybe is only, you think, $100, they'll charge uh, 200 or 300 uh, How much do they take sometimes? Or uh, Most of the time, it's 50%. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So if I was to charge what I wanted, but mm -hmm. knowing that they're going to take 50%, then I only get 50% of the payment. Oh, okay. You know? Do you ever fight with them? No. So fuck that shit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe inside, but oh. not, not outwardly. Okay. Because everybody has to make a living. It, um, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> do you ever feel like somebody's copied you? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you remember <laughs> in Pendejo Magazine. <laughs> Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what do you think of the quote? Um, <laughs> copied before. I heard a quote that good artists borrow and great artists steal. So, 
Is oh. he a great artist? <laughs> Not in my book. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not gonna drop names, but you know who you are. Okay. <laughs> like you're watching. I know. Like, oh no. <laughs> okay, give a shit. Well, no, I'm gonna post it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I want so to know that. Did you did know. you guys ever have a confrontation about that? Did you? Um no. No. But it was so apparent and so blatant, I think. Are you over it? Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get over it. Oops. Thanks for bringing it up. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Again. <laughs> well, um, and so you also started something called the Free Art Movement. Yes. And what is that? Okay, so me with Ronnie Rucker, right? Right. Uh -huh. oh. So me. Yeah, bad the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Fair is he bad? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what it is is basically um, we wanted to kind of take art and um, bring it out into the public. Mm -hmm. with the idea that there's no monetary value. Uh, it should be about the art and not how much it costs. So what we would do is we'd set up kind of an uh, environment similar to this one where there'd be art supplies out mm -hmm. and free art on the table and people could just take the art if they liked it. Mm. And they wouldn't have to pay. The only thing, uh, the only condition is that mm -hmm. they would have to promise to do something free. Oh, really? And creative. And creative? In return. So a lot of the times, because there's art supplies out, people will end up drawing, and they'll leave a drawing and then take one. Mm -hmm. But that was just established by the person doing it, because I never said anything. I just yeah. allow them to draw if they want. Oh, OK. Yeah. So you set up an art little studio and just say, come and do it? Um, no, at First Friday or at um, other events at UH, I would just have a table with mm -hmm. art out and then art supplies. And I would do live art and just put it out and have people take it if they wanted to. And people were really, um, at first, they had a hard time with it. They were like, oh no, I have to pay for it. And I'm like, no, you can just take it. If you enjoy it, take it. That mm -hmm. means more to me than money, you know? Right. right on. Because they're enjoying the art, they really want it. So it's like, mm, by all means. So cute. Yeah. So. Um. That was I, the free art movement. There's another free art movement online, wasn't there? <laughs> oh. Are you going to battle with them? Oh. No, but because I didn't do my research, uh. I totally just took the, um, the name and was like, it's mine <laughs> because I want it. It's mine. Oh. But then I actually did some research. I'm like, oh, God, there's another one. <laughs> and that concept's the same. It's like, maybe we should collaborate, but I'd like to just keep it mine. <laughs> <laughs> they do graffiti, so isn't like because they post up things Good that you group. contribute, yeah? Right. So is graffiti and that type of stuff, that's free art too, yeah? yeah or like consider it stuff cool. like that. Yeah. So, okay. Um, and what is, you do drive-by shooting? Is that your black culture coming out? <laughs> drive-by drive -by free shooting. art? Drive-by free art, um, I'm sorry. I'm oh. a teacher. Huh? I don't do drive-by oh. shootings. No, well, I'm just no. kidding. Drive-by art. Um, what does that mean? So what I would do just is. Just leave shit? Yeah, like I would have um, paintings mm -hmm. and I just leave them out. And <laughs> on the back, I would have, you know, like follow free art movement or whatever on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I would just leave it out. And then if people ended up getting the art, they could contact me and say, oh, I got my, you know, I got your art piece. Cute. But it was just kind of a way to put art out into the streets so that it's accessible. Let's see some more art. Um, you have like a chicken bird thing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the my love birds. I know what they are, love birds. Oh, oh cute. Which you come first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Which one came first? At the same time. They came at the same time. Simultaneous <laughs> orgasms with hen and <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right on. Oh. What inspired these? Just, just um, I guess the sensation and the... Of coming first? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Of uh, just being, I guess, in love, or mm, right on. are you in love right now? Oh gosh! Oh. Next question. Because <laughs> 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 you have choke blocks oh, that kind of no. cover all this, oh. yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> and so there's all this love talk, but mm. I guess we'll talk about something else. <laughs> no, we can go into the box. Huh? No, no, no. It's up to you. Whatever. Whatever. You want. <laughs> Do you get? Um, oh. Oh, we're back. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, I like some of your, you, you write a lot, yeah? I write a and lot. And you read a lot, too, yeah? Yeah, I and try to. You're, like, always doing so. So you just, like, all art. Do you have, that's your job, job, yeah? And I like to think of it. It kind of consumes you. Yeah. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so, because I read in your blog, you said something like, life is short, art is long. Mm. Does that mean oh. you're a size queen? Oh. <laughs> in terms of art. Mm. Oh, you like long art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. 
Is that what it is? Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Mm. You're kind of big guy. I remember seeing pictures of you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Have you guys opened the whole magazine again? That's you great. must be oh, that wasn't you. <laughs> me with, with your my sister. sister. <laughs> this is not my slutty sister. Oh, okay. Are you slutty? No, but I'm still big. <laughs> oh, yes. Is it run in the family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Your, bl are your blogs are like... Huh? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Half Holly. Oh, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> no, there's big Asians. Hey, I like the small ones. Yeah. Like Photoshop, those. Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> Do you ever get like some kind mm. of like? You didn't make anything. <laughs> you didn't talk. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, you started something. No, no, but I don't like it. Okay. That one. okay. Oh. <laughs> um, do you ever feel like a block, like you can't create, and how do you deal with that if you do? Mm. Sometimes, like for a while, I had a hard really really hard time after mm -hmm. college to um, produce art really there was a maybe two or three years where I didn't do anything n no painting what was going on or I think um, because it was so formulated and I really really tried to produce a lot in college I was kind of burnt out mm. so for two or three years I didn't do anything and then all of a sudden it just came back cute yeah and so, so no, were you writing during that time or was mm. there anything going on that was probably the only thing I was doing is writing. That's cute. Writing I like and your writing. Like crocheting. I like your one. There was one kind of like thing that you wrote. You wrote, oh, "Pour me, pour me, pour me another." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's like when I rest, I rust. Oh, that's what I try to live by. Yeah. Yeah, that's my like my own personal motto. Or what about your other mo happiness? is your default emotion. <laughs> I love that. That's cute. Are you stealing these slogans? From <laughs> no, no. Okay, so the Poor Me, Poor Me is from a movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's not me. Okay. Oh, okay. But happiness right. is a default. I, that's me, and the other one is me. I, and oh, you're not just giving away art, but putting freedom into art. Oh, did I write that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I wrote that. Oh. Oh. That was good, I thought. Oh, okay. I, I and so, <laughs> in 30 seconds, let's talk about you. And mm. so, you also have your uh, event coming up, yeah? <laughs> at Kokio oh, oh. Elementary. Yeah. My drawing. What is it? <laughs> My drawing. Tap <laughs> done, but drawing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And what? It's uh, May what? <laughs> um, it's a May 19th, and so it's an art festival for the kids. For the kids? Yeah. Cool. At Kokio. At Kokio, and that's just a show. I finished mine. Is it done? Does it look done enough? I would have you color the background. Oh, <laughs> I did it. I did that. My husband. That's more What's my husband's fun. name? I forgot. Uh, Lance. Lance Arinaga. Uh, I love you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching Shaka Talk. Yeah. Toulou. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, so Justin. Fun. Ready? Cool. Yeah. Right on. It was so fun.